Well, let's get to si- let's get to the the, the real meat of Simon's yeah. question here. Mac and cheese. I am a mac and cheese connoisseur, so yeah. I, I have several suggestions for him. But what do you got? If you if you only know how to make mac and cheese, what can you do to make it? better? I think you could add just about any kind of meat to it uh, in in chunks. It could that could be bacon bits. That could be uh, chicken. That no could be seafood beef. though. Yeah, fish might be a little weird. I'd like mac and cheese. I'll just eat some mac and cheese. So I don't know anything about this you could crush up some saltines it into it for kind yeah. of a and, and stir it around for I, kind I, of a more I, stewy gruely kind of thing I, I know in my family that uh, a little black pepper being added mm. uh, that that's been done alex i'm gonna say ketchup you, you i'm gonna say mix in some ketchup <laughs> and uh, just kind of stir it up and uh, you know add what about, a little, I, I love ketchup flavor. but that's disgusting here are my two go-to recipes for mac and cheese one, Fluff. one is one is no, <laughs> no one is fall, all. That's fall so and gross. Cook it is regular. at the end add some garlic powder and Tabasco sauce. Mm. Oh, that's actually that's that's really If you're ladies out of town, then it won't matter that your breath is going to be the foulest thing ever. Um, and the other one is, as you're preparing the, I'm guessing this is instant mac and cheese, instead of the milk and butter, use uh, ice cream, vanilla, or chocolate chip. And that uh, works amazing. Gallup, you are a maniac. <laughs> what? Dude, that you is just the... blown my what? tiny that mind. That is absolutely, like... Once upon, a time, once upon a time, I was living in L.A., uh, quite the bachelor life, and I had no milk for making mac and cheese, and I didn't realize this until I was at the step where it says add milk, and I had a little bit of chocolate chip ice cream, threw that in there. It was so good. <gasps> Does it turn it into some kind of dessert? No, it's still mac and cheese. Just got a little... You should try it. You, I don't even know what to do with it. that. You can't overdo it, but I don't, it's, it's, it's like good. like chocolate and cheese. Yeah. And then last night, uh, we had, last night we actually had mac and cheese from the store and we had some leftover chili and I, I had a bowl with the cold chili on one part and the warm mac and cheese on the other part and then, and then I'd mix them a little bit. Mm-hmm. That, sounds, little, that was really good. That sounds really good also. Awesome. That I could believe in. I like some chili. What, I, what I do to chili is uh, sometimes sometimes we'll go out and at the Costco, uh, you know, living with a couple of guys, we're all horrible bachelors. And... Uh, we buy the huge can of nacho cheese that you would have at, like, the Little League field. <laughs> uh-huh. And so, you know, then you just heat up some of that, and then you buy the eight-pound bag of chips that they have at Costco. But sometimes you, you know, mix a can of chili in with that, and then it becomes this horrible gruel that you can feel taking years <laughs> off your life. <laughs> but it's the years at the end, so it's okay. <laughs> the, what, nice. the one thing I would always do when I was living at my parents' house and my mom was never around was I would she would always buy, like, just tons and tons of French bread, like sourdough bread. So I would just make the mac and cheese, and then I would just sort of slice the bread in half, so it was kind of like you know a half, sa- you know, the bottom half of a sandwich, where and just spread the mac and cheese over it, and just eat it like you know, kind of like it was garlic bread or something. It was I, I was good. I was watching uh, some. I was in, in Los Angeles last week, and I was watching some TV, and there was advertisement for a pizza place down there where you can put macaroni and cheese on your pizza. I've seen those ads. Whoa. They have those ads up here. Yeah, you, you can get a macaroni and cheese mac pizza. and cheese sandwiches are all. It's the best way to eat macaroni and cheese. A lot of it fast is to make it into a sandwich. Where, where, can, we, you, where you, can we go? Where can we go? Where can we go for this? Anything though, make anything yeah. into a sandwich yeah, or, or a burrito. Like Dude, I, I want to make Mongolian beef burrito. This is making me so hungry. We're quitting our jobs in gaming <laughs> to open a fusion restaurant. <laughs> we're only gonna take one more call and we're gonna go eat. Oh, all right, cool. all right. The, all right. the all right. Cheesecake Factory has macaroni and cheese balls as an appetizer, and they're deep fried macaroni and cheese. God. Think about it in ball form. Next call.